Hello everyone and welcome to another little adventure with me and my bike. So I don't know if you've seen the other videos where I went and did a wild camp but off the back of that I um, I thought you know what I want to bring one of my other passions into this and that is cycling. So for years and years and years I've cycled and cycled and cycled and then I've sort of gone off the boil with it for a long time but now in the past sort of a couple of months I'm getting back into it and I picked myself up uh, a gravel bike cheap off Facebook marketplace like stupidly cheap I couldn't say no to it I do have a mountain bike and I do have a road bike but the road bike the geometry is not as comfortable as this one and the mountain bike's just a bit too big and bulky for for what I wanted to do so I've managed to get that and then over the past month or so I've been picking bits up mainly from Aldi so everything that's on this bike is all Aldi stuff or decathlon and I've sorted it all out and I thought today's the day I've got a full day where I don't have to do anything I don't have to be anywhere I don't have any meetings I don't have any phone calls I don't have anything to do so I'm gonna go and do that so let's have a look at the bike So the bike is a Boardman gravel bike and all this kit is from Aldi and I've got that frame from the Decathlon I think it is but I'm just going to head out this is like a test run so if this goes well I will uh, do some more stuff so I've got all my kit in there I've got all my camping stuff in there now uh, and I will uh, head out for a ride to Wilmslow a bit of a coffee ride but with kit now I do have more bags to go on the bike but I didn't I didn't see it necessary to put them on I guess but um, all the bits that are on it now is if I want to go and do like a little standard wild camp and I could leave the flat ride out and go and have a camp somewhere overnight and come back hopefully so come along for the ride and I hope you enjoy this so we're like seven minutes into the ride and uh, the piece that attaches the GoPro into that there has already broke. Why, why can I not just do something and it just all runs smoothly? It never runs smoothly, but never mind. But um, we're on the Bolling, Bollingwood Way, I think it's called. So as you can see, it's just a gravel track. And we're going to follow it all the way to Wilmslow. So seven miles there, we'll have a coffee and we'll come back. I think it should be pretty flat this, an easy ride in, but that's a whole idea just to get miles in the legs, understand how the bike rides with the weight on it and what it feels like and what it looks like. And if there's anything that I need to change or maybe look at a different bit of kit or do something a bit differently or cut, I mean, my, my kit that I've got in the bag is pretty slim as it is, um, so. But this is what it's all about trial and error trial and error i'd rather do it on a trail on a on a ride now than i'm up in the peak district somewhere and i'm struggling and i'm miles away from home and nobody's come and pick me up <laughs> So now I'm riding across, which is pretty much farmer's fields now, and it is really <laughs> bumpy. <coughs> oh, at least even got some cows. <laughs> Trying to film and ride, it's tricky, but taking in the views, taking in nature, cows staring me out. But more than anything, I'm enjoying it. Just getting out and riding. Made it to Presbury, and Presbury is full of cars and nice houses, a bit like that. Can we make a good noise, certainly? A little good noise, but I'm a couple, well, according to my watch, I'm 4.3k in, so not far at all. But there's been lots of fields, uh, up and over gates, trying to find my way around stuff, but we're cutting over and down uh, and carrying on in the Bolling Valley way 
and we should come to Wilms over the next couple of hours. But I'm gonna get a quick drink. Well, less than a couple of hours in about 45 minutes. But I'm gonna have a drink. Uh, the bike seems to be holding up all right. Ride's okay. Uh, it, obviously, you can tell it's got weight on it, but it's um, doing okay. I have to brake a little bit harder, and it's hard getting it up and over gates. But other than that, it seems all right. It'd be different if I was climbing up stuff. But these new tyres that I put on, they seem to make a big difference. Uh, the ones that were on it were just the standard ones that came with the bike. Whereas these ones are a bit different and a bit more made for gravel bikes. So they roll really well and they've got a good bit of grip to them too. I just took a little bit of a detour because um, I recognised where I was. I've just ridden past the house that I built. 2012, still looks good. I uh, don't know if it's the same owners, but the house still looks really good. You can see the double bullseyes that I did. Climbing with the extra weight, you can really notice it. But we're heading back off road again in a minute and back on the Bolling Valley. That was good, that gate back there. Um, I could open it so I didn't have to lift the bike up and over. But we're back on the gravel trails now. So it's a couple of trees that have uh, been almost washed away by the erosion of the river. Water so powerful, but it's, uh, it's not only coastal erosion, you get erosion in the middle of Cheshire too. gates are killing me. But it's all part of it. Keep going. Uh, so the bike's holding up good. I had a little problem with this zip splitting. Uh, but I had to just jiggle everything about in there and send the zip all the way back and then send it all the way forward and it seemed to work. But bike on a hole it's doing good and I know I know it's not the most expensive bike but I think it's a really good looking bike and especially now I've got these new tires on with the gum wall I think it's a wicked bit of kit for the money it was a Facebook marketplace bargain but uh, some of these tracks are getting really thin now and I'm getting zapped by stinging nettles and brambles and stuff like that so my legs are going to be sore at the end of it but not from riding but from all the stings that i've had so for the past couple of weeks the winds have been really bad even though we're in august there's a lot of trees down on the path and i suppose you're all right walking but this is why you can't bomb it down the path because there's trees down everywhere is a bit difficult. Conchester East Council, you have enough money off us every year. Ugh. Oh God. Right. I think I've safely negotiated that. Oh, there's now a barrier up here saying well, I guess blocking everybody's view, uh, way of doing it till the council come and sort it out, but I'm through it now anyway. Right, I don't know which way I need to go here now. Right, I've looked at the maps 
and that is the way I need to go but it looks blocked off but there's a little bridge over here I don't know where that goes but I don't know whether that's blocked off because of this what I've just gone through there or whether there's something that way I'm gonna try it because well I'm not I'm not doubling back now I'm not going through that tree right I'm through it was a little bit of the path had been damaged so another path had been made around the tree so I just went around that so now I'm just riding through some woodland so we can crack on it's really narrow on this bit I've got the GoPro up there this is on my phone but I don't think I'm going to try and film it because I don't want it dropping in there it's a river bowling <laughs> oh I almost went there that was proper dodgy front wheel slipped and I, I overbalanced but we made it across and I pulled a few poo faces then Okay, so I've made it to Wilmslow, but I'm not I'm not gonna go into Wilmslow centre. I was gonna go and get um, a coffee and come round, but I'm gonna turn around and go straight back because lifting the bike over all the gates, I've ripped something in my left hand and it's absolutely killing me. So I'm gonna take the roadway back, but it's hilly, long, busy, not really looking forward to it, but I'm gonna start heading back. Um, when I get back, I'll do a kit review and I'll let you know I'm getting on with my hand but I've, I've really enjoyed the ride so far I've done 15k so and although it's taken me two hours to do it I've just been doing bits of filming and taking my time and it's off rough track I've just gone through a couple of fields it's like a mile of like just ruts and under like undulations and tree root it felt like I was going over tree roots but it's horrendous but I'm through it now and I'm on the roads and I'm going to try and get back as fast as I can and try and do it the least hilliest way home but where i live it's pretty impossible not to be going up and down hills so um i'll try and do some filming if i can but i don't think i will because i'm just going to concentrate get my head down and get back right i'm back on the trail uh I surprised myself how quick i got up some of them hills um but i thought i'll cut the last little bit of road out because this bit is not so bad for gates so I thought I'd put the chesty on and give you a different view of the last little bit of the ride. But I mean, my hand seems okay, but it's really, really sore inside. And so to touch, just it made like a like a ripping noise. I could feel it. You know, like when you can when you're in the water and you can hear movement and sound that's what it felt like so i don't know might have done something in there we'll have to find out see how it goes but i'm going to swap the battery in the gopro and bang you on here these are cool little bags from aldi no yeah aldi Just stick all my camera bits in there so it doesn't get too wet and damaged.
of South America, Chile and Argentina, that's where I went, yeah. they're the most European okay. in South America. The rest are all but, a bit. Uh, uh, of course, getting a bike on a plane, come on, getting a bike on a plane is like it used to be, is it? No. I mean, the golden age, you just uh, took the pedals off, yeah. the tyres down, turn the handlebars around, got your little bag and off you went. Oh no, not now, you've got to take it apart, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And put it in a, a, a hard case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Yeah, you ruined it, miserable bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy spoons. I'll hopefully see you again. Oh, excellent. I'll definitely keep an eye out for you. What a legend that guy is. He was telling me before he's travelled all around the world on his bike. 85 years old. And he's off down to Weatherspoons for a pint. Don't blame him. Okay, so I'm back at the flat. Made it back. Um, really 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 enjoyed that then hard slog uh, lifting the bike over the gates and when i could i'd lift it upright and get them through but not all the time um the bike was really good the bike performed flawlessly all the way and um, the only issue i had was with a bit of the kit the zip on the frame bag um, if it if it's slightly stretched it burst open but you had to send it all the way back and then jiggle the stuff about inside it and and get it back to how it should be a bit thinner and it worked perfectly fine but on the whole the bike held up perfectly loving the new tyres they're really good all the bits and then this is all the stuff I had inside I can add all the tent and bike and pillows and everything just undo that one they weren't light. I bet the bike weighs 30 kg maybe. So I bet the bike's pushing 30 kg quite easy. And uh, I could tell when I was lifting it over some of them gates. But on, on a whole, it, it was good. I uh, met an absolute legend. I think he said his name was Ron on the way around he was telling me about he's been all over the world riding bikes and uh, he was giving me some tips on kit and things like that and how to cut it down and what to look out for and all that sort of stuff so uh, that was great to chat to him stuff like that is absolutely priceless legends out there willing to share the knowledge and experience and that's what it's all about and that's what i try and do with these videos i try and share the experience that i have whether it's out my bike or walking or in the van or on tour or doing podcasts or whatever it is that's why i do this stuff i do it to share with you and hopefully encourage you all to get out and do something now i'm going to unpack all this take all this apart and i'm going to go jump in the shower get some food and uh, rest up for the rest of the day other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, it'd be amazing if you could subscribe. I don't ask too often, but I really want to push the channel and get it out there a bit more to help us go out and do more adventures like this. And um, if that guy comments about something that's stupid to do with OnlyFans, keep going, mate. You're doing all right. If you need any help and support, let us know. I can sort it out because clearly you've got some stuff going on. Other than that, I'll speak to you all very soon.